The woman who died yesterday when her car was washed off a causeway in Maitland has been identified as a great-grandmother from the rural town of Gilliston Heights. Neighbours said she decided to take the risk and drive through the floodwaters into Maitland after running out of milk. The town where she lived remains cut off and essential supplies are dwindling. Reporter Jackson Vernon took a boat into Gilliston Heights to see how the locals are faring. The rural town of Gilliston Heights, deep in the Hunter Valley, has become an island. Up to 4,000 residents have been cut off from the rest of the world. Locals have no choice but to band together. Didn't know what we could do and then realised that we had a boat on the other side, so sent the call out and the boats and the generators have come. For two days, residents have been operating boat trips across the water. Food and drinking water are running low. The community says it needs more help and is becoming increasingly frustrated. The children are very emotionally wrecked because everything's changed on them very quickly, very dramatically. This is usually a quiet rural road, but as you can see, it's been transformed into a massive lake and the only way across is now by boat. With supplies dwindling and people unable to get to major centres like Maitland, residents have had to rely on the local shop. Yesterday it was just chaotic. We had them lined out the shop and right round in the shop and it was taking people two hours to get served. The shelves are emptying fast. Bread and milk have sold out completely. Yeah, it's pretty horrific and people are saying they've got no food. It's not the only thing in short supply. The community has been without power for nearly three days. These locals are trying to make the best of the situation but many are feeling abandoned by the outside world. There's a lot of people that are a lot worse off, but it's just we haven't heard from anyone, I guess, too. We feel like, I guess, we're cut off like with phones and electricity and the TV. With another storm cell expected to cross, this community is on edge, wondering when life will return to normal. Jackson Vernon, ABC News, Gilliston Heights.